Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. I'm going to be talking about pulsars. I titled this one Pulsar Racing Across the Milky Way. So this is for the sciences playlist. I read an article, try to give credit if it's there, and discuss a little bit about the science and my passion for all things that have to do with science. All right, this is from Astronomy, is the website, by Corey Haynes, and it's from 2019. The title is, This Cannonball Pulsar is Racing at Escape Speeds Across the Milky Way. The newly discovered neutron star is flying across the galaxy so quickly that it could get from Earth to the moon in six minutes flat. Whoa. Alright, so I'll begin now. Astronomers discovered a pulsar, a kind of zombie star, racing across the galaxy so quickly that it could get from Earth to the moon in six minutes flat. The dead star has a tail pointing back towards the remnant of a supernova that exploded 10,000 years ago. Astronomers suspected this might have provided the kick that sent the pulsar speeding off, but had to wait for 10 years of telescope data to make their case convincing. The pulsar is a rapidly spinning neutron star left over after the supernova explosion ends the star's normal life leaving behind a dense core. They send off bursts of radiation, which their spinning turns into a lighthouse signal, alerting astronomers to their whereabouts in motion. This particular pulsar, PSR J0002-6216, <laughs> spins 6 point or 8.7 times a second and sports a tail of ratio emissions pointing directly at the expanding shell of debris from a supernova called CTB-1. Pulsar timing. The tail gives a good visual clue as to what sent the pulsar skidding across the sky, but scientists also had to see if the timing worked out. PSR, I'll just call it J0002, is now 53 light years from the center of that supernova explosion which happened only 10,000 years ago. So scientists had to figure out if it could have traveled as far so fast. A pulsar spin is very regular, enough so that astronomers can use them as cosmic clocks. But if the pulsar is in motion, astronomers will record those pulses arriving a little earlier or later than expected. By tracking PSR, J0002's emissions within 10 years of data, from the Fernie Gamma Ray Space Telescope, they were able to clock the star speed at a whopping 2.5 million miles an hour, putting it among the fastest 2% of pulsars ever measured. Astronomers from the National Radio Astron Astronomical Observatory and Naval Research Laboratory conducted the research, which is currently under review prior to publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. They presented it at the 17th High Energy Astrophysics Meeting this week in California. Luckily, PSR J0002 isn't coming toward us, and it is instead speeding mostly across our line of sight. This is good news, because even the leftover core of a massive star still weighs more than our sun, and would wreak gravitational havoc as it passed by any other object. If it were really between the moon and Earth, that would be the end of it, says Frank Shiznell, lead author on the research. If it were more than a few light years away, we might see a nice show from neighboring solar systems disruption. The pulsar is going so quickly, it will eventually leave the Milky Way entirely. Usually spotting pulsars outside the Milky Way is extremely difficult, but knowing that pulsars can be ejected from the galaxy but the explosions that create them gives astronomers a new population of objects to study and understand. And that's the end of the article. 
I was fascinated by these pulsars that, you know, supernova, the core of a dead star could weigh more than our sun. I mean, just the numbers are mind boggling. And just to think how the universe works, this, this object could, if it came close, wreak havoc. Just the sheer insanity of it sometimes. Just, you know, it makes you reconsider your place in the universe and how civilizations and solar system can be destroyed or permanently damaged and wrecked havoc by a dense dead star that's ejected from a supernova. I mean, it's the stuff of sci-fi. You could see comic book stuff, uh, an adventure to save a civilization, just awe-inspiring. It makes us rethink our place in the universe, which is why I love to do these type of podcasts, just reading an article, and even the normal way I do things, if it's a light script, or if it's no script at all, and I just turn the mic on. These things are things that I have come across, and I've, you know, bookmarked it, or made a note of it. Things that just spark my imagination, and what's out there in this universe. Now, the article has a couple of links, which is good. I always like to give uh, props to the article, the site. You know, some people, you get the, they talk about the research, so you'll see a link for the research. Uh, The 17th High Energy Astrophysics meeting is a link for that. So, I will put the link for the article in the description, as I always do. I don't think I've forgotten one yet. I'm not sure how many of these I've done. And I put them in my sciences playlist just to give everybody the knowledge of what's this a universe out there. It's filled with insane, mind boggling aspects that just, you know, they just uh, make me think hard on just how lucky we are to be on a spinning ball of dirt and rock traveling through the galaxy our galaxy traveling through the solar it's just uh, selling through the universe <laughs> whatever you want to call it and it's this dance of uh movement and momentum time and space and a fucking dead star is traveling millions of miles per hour it could just fuck everything up. It's just insanity. Oh, man. And it's not just to alarm people. It's not just to say, oh, you know what? We got something that's moving. You know, just this much time. And if it came even close to us, it would, you know, who knows what it could do. I mean, the article says if it came between us and the moon, it, it's it for both of us. That's it for everything. And then it says if it was a few light years away, we'd be able to see some um, light show in a sense that it's affecting things. But man, 2.5 million miles an hour. Phew. This makes you think asteroids that have hit Earth. And you forget how fast they're traveling. They hit the atmosphere. How fucking pulsar. Weighing more than our sun. Wow. Oh, boy. Just the knowledge of how the universe works, science, and how it seeks to use methods that determine the best chances we have at being right about how the universe works, how it functions. And, yes, it's all, we're all human. We all try to wrap our heads around this stuff, but it's a special few who get to be in the thick of it. I guess a part of me always wanted to be in the science. It was my best subject, I think. But here we go. A pulsar weighing more than our sun, ejected 10,000 years ago. It's just shooting through the galaxy. All right, everybody. 
keep your mind out there keep it open look to science if you got nothing else no, there's nothing better hope everybody's doing well stay healthy my best to you and yours